today I'm going to be filming a video, um, an unboxing video, and two boxes. The first one is the May BoxyCharm box, and the second one is the Ipsy Plus May box. So I'm super excited, and I'm going to be doing a try-on of the stuff that we get. I've already kind of dipped into here, um, so I'm just going to jump right in, waste no time, and let's get right to it. So, BoxyCharm. Um, I will link all the details below on what it is. It's about $21 a month. Um, every few months you can upgrade to Boxy Lux, which is a bigger full-size box. Um, but this is the regular BoxyCharm box. And inside you get, so here's the theme this month, which is Make Waves. So we're getting ready for summer, spring, summer. And um, I don't know, I'm wondering if it's kind of a mermaid theme. We'll see. Um, so you get a little one of these, and it'll tell you uh, what each product is that you get in your box and what the um, MSRP is, the retail value. So let's see what we got. Um, that's what it looks like. Okay, so the first thing I'm pulling out is, ooh, Glam Glow. Um, this is a face scrub by Glam Glow. Um, I'm really s stoked that I got this because I haven't tried it yet. Um, <clears throat> but it's Glam Glow Gentle Bubble Daily Conditioning Cleanser. Um, and it's got, it's blended with oat amino acids. So, oat is always good. Always good for the skin. Just like when we used to take our little oatmeal baths as kids. You guys did take oatmeal baths too, right? Um... <clears throat> Condition, deep cleanse, face makeup removal. Um, not gonna lie, I already opened it up and tried it and then washed my face. I did love it. Um, so I definitely, it lathered up nicely. It was gentle on my face. It did not dry it out. Um, I like it. It doesn't have a scent to it, so it's probably good for sensitive skin as well. Um, it has like an iridescent shine to it. It's really cute, really pretty. So, Glam Glow, and the retail value of that is $28, which I think is actually pretty good for Glam Glow. Um, let's see what else we got in here. We have, ooh, Dose of Colors, and this is a liquid matte lipstick in the color Merlot. That's a pretty color. Ooh la la. So we will be trying that on um, in just a minute. Once we open up all the boxes, I'm going to try out everything from both boxes. So we will definitely try this dose of colors. And oh, the retail value of that is $18. And again, it's a liquid matte lipstick. So very nice. Um, I like dose of colors. I've had pretty good experiences with their lipsticks. Um, the next thing I'm pulling out is Eye Luster Cream Eyeshadow. Here's the packaging it came in. Let's open it up. This is in the color Cupid. Oh, Oh. I'm obsessed. Look at what a pretty color that is. It's kind of like a pinky purpley color with um, some like golden shimmer in it. You can see that, it's so beautiful. Oh, I'm excited to try this. Beautiful. And that retails for um, Okay, yeah. Siate London Eye Luster Cream Eyeshadow retails for $22. And <clears throat> what else do we have here? Okay, this is hiding in here, this little guy. This is um, Bodyography Eye Pencil, and it's in the color Midnight Blue. Very nice. And it's a pencil. Um, I'll try that out as well, all this stuff. And let's see, um, Bodyography Eyeliner Pencil um, retails for $14. 
And last but not least, in our boxy charm box, we are pulling out. Ooh, the Colorette Blush Trio by LMR. Look at how cute that packaging is. I love it. Um, I never really got big with the blush palettes because I really wasn't always huge with blush. But um, in one of my past boxes, I got this uh, Lovecraft Beauty Blush Trio. And the packaging is really cute on that too. Um, nice colors in there. So I don't know, ever since I got that, I'm kind of obsessed now. Um, and been using blush more. Um, but the packaging is really pretty on here. It's got a mirror, of course. And um, really pretty colors. So you have more of like an orangey kind of color with golden undertones and a pinky color. And um, this one's kind of in between like orangey and pinky with some golden undertones. Really pretty. I'm excited to try these out. So that completes our BoxyCharm box. Oh, and I'm sorry. The blush trio retails for $22. So that's a lot of a lot of stuff in here. Um, nice things. And we only played 21. 12. We only paid $21 for the box. So that's a steal. Love it. Can't wait to try these things out for you guys. But before we do that, let's hop into our Ipsy box without wasting any more time. So in here, ooh, exciting. In here, we have our little booklet. And again, I will link um, Ipsy down below and the cost and all that stuff. Uh, information on that. Um, so here's our booklet again with everything that we got and our retail value. Um, so let's just hop in. And um, the first thing I'm pulling out here is Tokyo Milk. And it's a lip gloss. Let's open it up. Tokyo Milk Lip Gloss retails for $21. Uh, it says. Wear it alone for sheer pink wash of color and tons of shine, or layer it over a bright lipstick for a bold look. So it does look pretty sheer. It's like a sheer pinky color. With a little doe foot on there. Which I like. So we will try that out as well. Um, and next item that I'm pulling out is... Let's see. Face Hero, a powerful and protective face oil. I don't know if you could see that with my light. It's kind of bright. But let's take it out of the box. Oh, cute. Very cute. It's a little pink bottle with a dropper. So, let's read up a little bit on this. Um, it's... Oh my gosh, okay, it retails for $34, and it says this multitasking good-for-you cocktail of natural ingredients comes to the rescue by hydrating parched skin, Lord knows I need that, brightening dull complexions, need that too, and soothing inflammation, okay, it also helps combat fine lines, dark spots, and early signs of aging, check, check, check. Um, and no worries about residue. Here's looking at you, oily and combination complexions. Your skin will soak it up quickly. Tip, massage five drops on a clean skin after your daily serum and before moisturizer. Or mix a few drops into a dollop of your favorite moisturizer and massage onto your skin for all day hydration. Um, hydrating is so important, you guys. I'm a licensed esthetician. And one of the biggest things I learned was, you know, even people with oily skin are saying, I don't want to put moisturizer on or oils on because my um, skin is already so oily. Well, if you over dry your skin and you don't moisturize, um, your oil production doubles. So you're actually producing more oil from not moisturizing and from not, you know, nourishing your skin with that. You're just over drying it and then your oil glands want to overproduce. So if you have oily skin, best to moisturize. Um, it does help. So, 
So, um, again, um, before in the BoxyCharm box, I told you I did use the cleanser and it was great. Um, after I cleansed, I did try this and I, I like it. I like it. It does kind of leave a little bit of an oily feel. I think I'm going to use this at nighttime before bed under my, moist, my nighttime moisturizer. I think it'll work better for me then. Um, but I do like it. It smells wonderful and um, anything that can help do all that, I mean, I'm, I'm with it. I'll try it. So um, I'm going to start using it at night, you know, and after maybe like a few uses, I will update in the description box how it's working for my, my skin, see if I notice any difference, um, and I will, yeah, update it and let you know. But let's move right along. Next thing I'm pulling out of here is, um, oh, ooh, 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 Wonder Beauty. I love Wonder Beauty. Um, I'm excited because it's an eyeshadow palette. It's Wanderous Seascape Eyeshadow Palette, and this values for $25. Let's open this bad boy up. Oh, I love one. <gasps> Guys, I'm obsessed. Look at how beautiful those colors are. Oh. There's only like one matte. A lot of shimmers, but oh my goodness. I love it. And I love the packaging. Mirror, wonderful. Great for travel. So compact. I think I'm going to fall in love with this. Wonder Beauty. You never steer me wrong either. Okay. Moving right along. This is... I don't know how to pronounce this. You guys forgive me. I don't know how to pronounce a lot of stuff. But Il Maquillage, I haven't used anything from them yet, so I'm excited. But this is an Icon High Volume and Intense Curl Mascara. So let's see what it looks like. Looks kind of like the box. Um, what color did I get? Black. Just black. Now here's what I really want to see is the brush. I want to see what kind of spoolie they have. Oh, okay. So this is the spoolie. It's got like, rather than the brush bristles, it's got like those little, I like this. I like this because it helps get rid of the clumps. Oh my God, I'm holding it upside down. It helps get rid of the clumps and it's really good for the lower lash line, which, you know, cause it's smaller, it's not too big and the bristles aren't so long where, you know, you're getting it on your skin. So I'm excited to give this a shot too. See how that works for me. Um, in my last box, I got Butter London Mascara, and I like it initially, but it makes my eyelashes so hard and, um, like, separates them so much, so, mm, that's the only thing I really didn't like about that, so I'm excited to try this one. Um, and that retails for $25, not sure if I said that yet. Okay, the next thing I'm pulling out is a duo, two for one, and it retails for $21 each, and it is Illum... Ilamasqua, and it's a lip coloring pencil duo in Lust and Media. Those are the two colors I got, Lust and Media. Let's check them out. Ilamasqua. Am I saying that right? Okay, this one is the color... What did I just open? Media. It's kind of like a pinky... I'm actually going to swatch these because when I do the try-on, I'm only going to be able to use one. So here's the color of Media. Very, very pretty. Perfect springy color. And the next one is the color Lust. Okay, so this one is a little bit darker. But it's they're both very beautiful spring colors. Love it. Excited to try. And that is exactly what we're gonna do now. We are gonna start trying out all this stuff, except for the um, face cleanser and the oil, because I've already done that. And um, I already have uh, moisturizer on, primer on, foundation on, 
all that jazz. So I'm just going to use what we have here. Um, I'm going to start off with, oh, and I have concealer, all that stuff. So I'm going to start off with some, we have the, um, this one from BoxyCharm, that beautiful, beautiful color, um, eye luster, cream eyeshadow. And then we also have the Wonder Beauty eyeshadow palette. So I am going to step into the eyeshadow palette first. Um, and since this is kind of a pinky purple, I'm going to kind of stick to those kind of colors. So let's jump right in. And um, here we have a good transition color sand dollar. So I am just going to use my little <coughs> Farrah brush here. And I'm going to pop that into my crease. That's a really pretty transition color. I like it. A um, little bit of kickback here. You can see. I don't know. But that's all right. Same thing on the other eye. Okay, I'm going to take another brush and I am going to um, dip into this pinky color, sea salt, and um, pop that in up here, so what I'm seeing with this is it's just like a light shimmery color, a lot to kick back on that one, um, but I was kind of flinging it a little bit. But uh, it's a really nice, nice color. Very beautiful. Very shimmery, pinky toned. I like it. And it works good with the um, transition color that I used. Not sure how it would look by itself. I think if you use it by yourself, a little bit of um, the MAC Fix Plus spray will do the job. I'm just going to use this by itself on the lid and see how that works first. To see if it works good just there. Maybe it works better with a um, matte shade underneath it, but let's find out. This is so pretty. I don't know if you can see that. Let me get closer. But it's so shimmery. So, like, unicorn mermaid like, I feel like. Oh, wow. You know, it's funny because in here it looks really purpley. But on your eyes, it just kind of looks more like gold glitter. If you can see that. But I love it. That's beautiful. I like it. Okay, next I'm going to try the um, Il Maquillage Mascara. Let's see how that goes. I'm not going to do liner. Oh, wait. Yes, I am. Oh, I lied. Um, we got this Bodyography Midnight Blue Liner. So I'm actually going to put some of that on. Let's see how that works. Let's try the waterline first. I don't usually wear a lot of blues because I have blue eyes. So it kind of takes away from my eye color, but I want to be able to give a review on this, so 
Goes on the waterline pretty good. Um, it's a nice color. Let's go do a little bit in the corner here. That's pretty. I like it. Don't know if I'd use it that much because I don't really use blue, but I do like it. And it does go on the waterline fairly well. So, see how long it lasts. Um, but let's go back to the mascara now and give that a whirl. And complete our eye look. So this goes on really nicely, um, but I think for me, I would need a few coats of this, but it is really lengthening my lashes, I'll tell you that. I wouldn't say it's really curling them. <laughs> I mean, I probably should have curled them myself before, but it does say that it, uh, high eye, icon high volume and intense curl mascara. I mean... Maybe if I curled them first, that would be accurate. But so far, I like it though. I mean, let's do the bottom. I like this brush a lot for the bottom lashes. My eyelashes like disappear when I don't have mascara on them. As soon as I have them on, they're like. Poof. My eyelashes are long, but they're thin. And I'm not doing falsies because I have the worst allergies. Um, and now that it's spring, they're so bad. And I get like itchy eyes and they get really red and swollen. So I'm just kind of staying away from falsies for now. But there's the mascara. God, my nose looks so big on camera. Okay, let's move on to the blush and try a little bit of that. Um, my camera doesn't really pick up, like, I'm using a Moda brush. I love Moda brushes. If you guys haven't tried them, they're so soft and so nice. See, I feel like my camera just doesn't do justice for the color that this gives off it like, like I feel like it looks more orangey in the camera but actually this gives me like a really nice natural healthy glow and I really like it and it's got like a little bit of a sheen to it the ones um these two this one's more more so matte but these two have a little bit of a sheen and I like that very nice for spring, do we look? Um, but yeah, it, I feel like I kind of look crazy on camera, but it it's really nice. I like this. I'm I'm kind of interested in trying out some more products from them because their blush is a hit. And okay, last but not least, we are gonna try the lip liners, the Dose of Colors liquid matte lipstick, and um, on top of that, we'll try the Tokyo. Uh, Tokyo Milk lip gloss. Um, I don't think this lip liner is going to totally match the lip stick, but we'll give it a shot. My lips have been so dry. I'm gonna use both. Maybe it'll darken it up a little bit. B12 
because I haven't been drinking enough water. I need to start drinking more water. Why when my skin is so dehydrated? Oh, wow. So this Merlot color is like a red with like a pinky undertone. Oh, you can't even see it, but hold on. It's very beautiful. Doesn't necessarily go with my eye look today, but what a pretty color this is. Hold on. So pretty. And let's put a little bit of the Tokyo lip gloss on top. Oh yeah, now we're looking juicy. So pretty. Okay, so the lipstick dries out really nice. The dose of colors dries out really nice. Um, and then the Tokyo Milk Lip Gloss is really glossy. Mm, it doesn't really feel sticky, just really glossy. I like it. And that completes our look with all of our stuffs that we got. So I thank you guys so much for watching. Please give me a thumbs up and please subscribe and hit the little bell so you can get um, notifications of when I post new content. Um, I do have a lot of fun stuff coming up. Um, tomorrow I will have a review on the Jeffree Star concealer and powder um, and a lot more exciting stuff come up It's a secret. So stay tuned and subscribe so that you can uh, see what it is. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed and have a great day. Bye.